What Fulcrum does is it gives us digital capability that we haven't had before. Fulcrum can help authors make their work more accessible. For me as a writer, the ability to know that my reader will hear what I'm talking about allows me to make my writing more like my teaching. For dance, like a still image can't really convey the movement and the choreography, and so that makes a huge difference for us. With Fulcrum, it's changed the way that we've published with authors, where we have a way to organize and display all of their digital materials together and to make them accessible with visually impaired and uh, hearing impaired users and people who use assistive technology, and to also let them do more complicated things that they wouldn't be able to do just with a general website. So having things like 3D models, interactive maps, interactive timelines, and those sorts of things that tie directly into their book and relate back to their book. Scientists all over the world can easily now, through Fulcrum, access um, our data and, and use it. They can access it directly in Fulcrum, they can download it. It's an extremely important, powerful research tool um, for the museum that our colleagues all over the world can go online, go to my edition of Fulcrum um, relating to my research, access that data, um, use it, publish with it, produce new knowledge. I mean, this is exactly what the mission of our museum is. Fulcrum is really exciting for me because I work on the performing arts and so we always want the readers to have access to visual material whether that's photographs or performance programs or actual video of the performances that we're analyzing. So having the digital platform is really wonderful because we can upload our own material that's not already accessible and we can also link to materials. Now that we have so many videos circulating on the internet, it's very helpful for readers to know which video is the right one to watch. And also because I work uh, across different languages, a lot of videos are only searchable if you can type in Chinese characters. And so being able to link directly to those videos is really essential for readers who can only read or type in English. This opportunity with the University of Michigan Press has allowed me to think as I'm writing about what music I want my reader to hear and then embed it in the book. For me, what Fulcrum has meant is that as I'm writing, I can think, in terms of audio, I can think about what I need my reader to notice and hear, instead of thinking about what I need to write that will clarify the sound of the music without them hearing it. So being able to make that assumption about what's available to my reader helps me tell the story in a more natural way. I don't think I'm going back from here.